Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about the ISO 17025 uh, and smoking in-house method and sampling error during the validation process by DS chromatography with mass detector. Uh, I saw uh, 17025 requires uh, the laboratories to use appropriate method that may be needed to the clients where possible. This can be the method considered by reputable technical organizations, national, international, regional standards like ISO, DEN, uh, GBT, or another, and, or uh, international standards. Um, uh, published in our relevant scientific textbook journals. Uh, if non-standard methods must be used, customer pro to recur and method must be extensively dated and documented. Laboratories can develop their own methods, in-house method, but it must fully validate, uh, verified uh, to use their, their acceptable and fit to uh, for purpose. Documented laboratories or in-house methods are subject to the higher level validation, full validation. Method validation and verification provides objective evidence that methods fit to a meaning the, the particular requirements for specifically intended use are uh, fully defined. Um, validation should include uh, three stages. First stage is the process design. This is the stage the commercial, uh, commercial manufacturing process is defined based on knowledge obtained during uh, development and scale up activities. Stage uh, two, process qualification. The process design is evaluated as this stage to see your process is capable of reproducibility, commercial manufacturing. And finally, stage during routine production, constant assurance is gaining that the process remains in state of um, control. A successful validation program depends upon information uh, and knowledge from product and process development. This knowledge and understanding is the best for establish an approach to control. Um, of the manufacturing process that result in products that describe quality attributes. Uh, the, uh, we know the validation uh, parameters uh, must be determined for quantitative methods for food testing, the specify, uh, selectivity, limit, uh, LOD, LOQ, precision, linearity, working range, accuracy, uncertainty of measurement, and finally the stability. During this whole process, we make with, uh, some type of errors. Uh, it's imp impossible to perform a chemical analysis that is error-free or without uh, uncertainty. Uh, every measurement associated with an error, non-measurement is 100% precise and accurate. Our goals are to minimize errors and to calculate the size of these errors. Actually, analytical measurement errors are divided into um, categories, the systematic uh, or determined errors, and uh, random error or anti uh, um, undetermined errors. Systematic error affects the curate, uh, curate, uh, random error affects the precise. And the random error uh, comes from uh, in this uncertainty instrument, uh, flu action, or it is the buret, pipette, uh, small size of our portion, uh, etc. Uh, so systematic error or is instrument uh, not calibrated, pure calibrated, uh, incorrect measurement, in, uh, pr uh, precision fusion, method uh, incorrected, uh, predictably L, etc. Generally, three types of measurement classified that when we have the non precise and non accurate, when we have the higher systematic error and higher random errors. Uh, second type, when we have the precise and accurate, and we can say that uh, we have the low systematic error and low random error. And finally, when we have the precise but non accurate, uh, in this type, we can say uh, we have the low random error, but uh, we have the higher systematic errors. Uh, an important part of estimation is estimating the magnitude of the sampling error in estimating. This provides a measure of the precise of the service estimated for the um, specific sample uh, design. Sampling error can only be estimated if probably sampling use. Uh, sampling error are statistical errors that occur when the sample does not accurately represent the entire populations. The sampling error is an error caused by absorbing a sample instead to whole populations. It the ideas from estimating in population characteristic by looking at only one portion of, uh, of the population rather than enter uh, 
for populational reference to the differences between the estimated DRV from a sample survey and the true value to, um, whole result if uh, cases of the whole population uh, were taken under the same condition. Uh, sample errors include the sample definition, sample collection, and sample handling. Uh, actually, uh, the 10 sampling errors uh, have been categorized into four major groups. Uh, terminology describes uh, these 10 errors has uh, also been adjusted for better understanding all uh, and to reflect common. Uh, the first material errors, this include the fundamental errors and which is generated by uh, composition heterogeneity, uh, grouping and segregation error, uh, which is generated by distribution heterogeneity, and the Najat effect. Second group is the process errors. Process errors include the periodical and non-periodical um, variation. Uh, third group, sample, sampling errors. Sample, this includes the sample definition, sample collection, and the sample handling errors. And uh, finally, the laboratory errors. This includes the analytical errors and data errors. Essentially, all above error may, may affect laboratory errors and conversely may be affected by laboratory errors. Uh, so, uh, let's discuss uh, each um, part errors individually. The first uh, error, fundamental error. The fundamental error related to the nature of composition of the material. The errors in here when the material is sample and unavoidable. The material we sample whereas its composition or constitution, we generated the fundamental error. For example, in our um, uh, screening or process when we use the determination of uh, pesticide residues in food uh, and food additives, uh, food supplement, uh, we include a different type of food additives such as tablet capsules. These components have different particle size, particle shape, surface charges, and other differences. Uh, uh, this type of material virus is called the composition heterogeneity. Even with the perfect sample, there is no such this is the representative or accurate sample. Second group, uh, second uh, errors, uh, the grouping or segregation error addresses how variation particles are distributed, both in the load and the particle place where we take a sample. Differences between individual particle determination, they are distributed a lot as well as uh, locally. Differences between um, they may be segregated during transport or when transferred from uh, one container to another. For, for, for the material is never perfectly blended. It always uh, has some degree of setting of segregation. Uh, if near perfect blend was achieved, will uh, lose the uniformity uh, when the transport the product from blender to uh, drum to copper. Uh, Consequently, we include the distribution heterogeneity, uh, which uh, generates uh, this grouping and segregation error. Uh, for example, when we are determination to pesticide, uh, sometimes uh, need to supplement. We need to uh, mix the active ingredient uh, ourselves in solvent, and of course there will uh, be an error in the mixing uh, during this mixing process. Uh, Nugget effect. Uh, the Nugget effect may occur in sampling pharmaceutical or national uh, natural matrix such as a natural product or food supplement, food additives. Nugget may be individually particle, clumped material due to moisture or electrostatic charge or other localization regions of higher gradient concentration in the material to be sampled. For example, to determine pesticides in vegetables or fruit, pesticides accumulated more uh, in the peels, so the latter must be taken into account when, when uh, sample preparation. Uh, second group, we say the process, um, uh, processing uh, errors and include the non-periodical and periodical part. Non-periodical process variation in non-random and results of process changes showing that a shift in trends. We uh, might know there was a process upset or the material from new supply was non unfortunately introduced into the process. Both are examples of non-periodical process uh, variation. Periodical process uh, variation is also non-random and results from cycle behavior. Uh, 
the sample definition, the uh, the sample definition determines which subset of the load material will be included in the sample. Sample collection, sample collection is the physical obtained material identified to be in the sample. To reduce sample select um, selection errors, the concept of accurate sampling uh, must be uh, followed. Every portion of the load of a quail size must have the same change of being including in the sample. Uh, the printing is the bulk sampling version of sample random sampling that use the statistical sampling. Recall the randomness is not the same of, uh, as uh, observed. Randomness is well-defined process that can be uh, repeated. The results of the process may be different, but the process itself is the same. For example, when sampling from tree, it is important to um, sample all parts, bottom and top, because when pesticides are spread, they are not spread the uh, same way. Uh, sample handling is generally considered to be the substance of sampling uh, in content sampling, uh, preservation, and integrated both during and um, after sampling. Sample handling uh, refers to physical or chemical changes that they are sample materials composition and the characteristic of interest called our measurement to change. For example, a sample may uh, correctly taken on production floor, packaged, and sent of the laboratories for analysis. When the lab receives the sample, however, the sample has significantly changed. The particle size distribution may be alternate to the abrasion or other change by the place because the proper storage temperature of the sample has not been maintained during tra um, transit. Sample handling is a specified and generally described to fit particle situation. There will be a Finally, analytical error, analytical error also includes errors caused by the analytical instrument. The error may, um, may be determined by performing an instrument precision study in which the same sample is arranged through the gas chromatography with mass detector multiplied times and mean and uh, standard deviation and calculated. The analytical error uh, may also include uh, human performance variation in the laboratory precision, including side the things that incompletely dissolution, uh, splitting during heating, and reading the liquid uh, mescues improperly. Uh, and finally, errors, uh, 10 errors, data errors are categorized in laboratory errors because they are more likely to occur in laboratory. They can, however, errors anywhere in the process or in the sampling. They consist uh, all of the mistakes and the um, occurring uh, manually data recording, data transfer, or data treatment, whether done manually or by a uh, computer. Uh, for determination of pesticides in our know, food supplement, we um, divided two categories of uh, errors, the sources of systematic errors and sources for the random errors. Uh, for the sample preparation, the portion of sample to be analyzed may be incorrectly selected. Uh, random error, the analytical sample is in contact and contaminated by the other portion of the sample. Uh, second, uh, sample processing. The composition of analyte during sample processing, cross-contamination of the sample, for example. Uh, sources of random errors, non-homogeneity of analyte in the single unit of the analytical sample, or the same, the um, non-homogeneity of the analyte in the grown analytical sample. Variation of the temperature during the homogeneous process or the during the sample process. Uh, texture of plant materials affecting the uh, effect of homogeneous process. All of this process about uh, sampling process is about the homogeneous. Uh, extraction or cleanup uh, sources of systematic error, incompletely recovery of analyte interferences, co-extracted materials, variation of the composition of like the fat, sugar, when include sample materials, temp uh, temperature or composition of the sample, um, or solvent matrix. And quantitative determination, uh, uh, systematic error, important purity of analytical standard, determination of uh, substance differing from the residual definition, determination of substance which do not original from the sample, contamination from the pe uh, pe or packing materials, side of uh, determination of uh, phthalates in the 
uh, wide. Uh, sources of random error, precision and linearity of the balances, uh, changing the laboratory environment conditions during the analysis, operator, uh, operator effects, uh, lake rotation, etc. Sum up, we can um, say that uh, recognition of sampling errors and their impact of data radiation is an important consideration in validation data evaluation. Four general category, uh, categories comprising 10 individually sampling errors have been identified. Sampling errors may occur all um, at all times during validation, during process, during testing, analysis of data. Validation and complete list of professional must always uh, be aware from potential for sampling errors and the impact of validation data and analysis. Sampling does not be overlooked as a critical aspect of uh, successful validations. Uh, sampling error may greatly influence validation data, causing product judgment, influence trending and radiation, and other ways uh, significantly affect data accuracy and precision. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>